to your midnight movie morsel with another episode of USA Up All Night. Tonight should be pretty cool because we've got several different guest directors coming in to shoot portions of this show. You'll get an opportunity to see USA Up All Night through the eyes of some of our industry's most respected directors. Spielberg, Scorsese, and the list just goes on. You'll also have the opportunity to see some of our industry's least respected actors in tonight's movies, Hard Bodies and Tomboy. But before we subject ourselves to that, why don't we watch this week's installment of the show that's got all of America quacking, Duckman. Tonight, Duckman's partner, Cornfed, shows you're never too old to play doctor. Bend over, grab the desk, and grit your teeth. Wait a minute, does it say we have to do this? Never mind. Here's Duckman on USA Up! All night. Cut! Run it! Well, that's it for Duckman. Join him again every Friday at 11 p.m. We're expecting our directors to start showing up any minute. Tonight we have several famous directors coming in as guests. You'll also have a rare opportunity to see their vision of USA up all night. Also, as I promised, we have two great movies for you. Later you'll see Tomboy, but first it's the feel aroused movie of the summer, Hard Bodies. We've conducted exhaustive surveys and pinpointed our target audience, and here they are. Yep, that's you, and we know you'll like Hard Bodies for its wonderful cinematography and lurid sex scenes. So, mount yourself to the couch and enjoy Hard Bodies on USA Up! All night.
Hi again. It's your damsel of the dark. And we were scheduled to have Oliver Stone come in to direct as a guest director of our first segment. But he was too paranoid to leave his dressing room. So instead, I thought it would be very interesting to hear an actor's point of view on directing. Joining us from tonight's movie is Darcy DeMoss. Thank you for coming, Darcy. Now, we've got some clips from some of your scenes in the movie. I thought we'd take a look at them. You're in the action right from the get-go. Now, here you are during the opening credits. What was your motivation here? Let's take a look. Well, Rhonda, I think my primary motivation was to avoid getting too much sand in my bathing suit. Ah, oh, of course. That's very interesting, mm -hmm. Darcy. Now, here's a clip from later in the film that features a love scene between your character, Dee Dee, and Roger. I think a lot can be read in the subtext of this scene. Let's take a look, and then maybe you can comment on it, okay? Never get one of these things undone. Mm -hmm. That's because there's nothing to get undone. Ah, uh, see, I say that's because there's nothing to get undone, but what I really mean is that I'm not wearing a bra. Oh, wow. You see, anyone who's done some acting knows how difficult saying one thing and meaning another can be. Darcy, let's take a look at one last clip, and maybe you can uh, set this one up for us. Let's look over here. Get the size around these buns, and you will win a hundred bucks. <laughs> Well, Rhonda, I believe this is from the party scene. Roger, the guy that you just saw me making out with in the last clip, is in a room, and what I'm doing is I am inviting people in to guess the size of his buns. And if they guess correctly, they win $100. Hmm. <laughs> See, now that makes sense. That's terrific. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Darcy. Will you, will you join us again here? Rhonda, I would love to. <laughs> We'll return to Darcy DeMoss in Hard Bodies after these messages right here on USA, up all night. So enlightening. I learned so much from this. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Well, you didn't miss much while you were away. This Spielberg guy is changing the lights around. Who does he think he is? I mean, he could learn a few things from the directing in Hard Bodies. For instance, just see if you catch the subtle sexual innuendo in this clip from the movie. It's tough to catch if you're not watching closely. That's the beauty of it. It doesn't call attention to itself, but it's there. You'll see it again in moments, so keep your eyes peeled as USA Up All Night continues. Okay, hey, hey, Mr. Perfectionist Spielberg, would you just quit it? Mr. Director, over here. Well, Mr. Everything Has to Be Just Right, Spielberg is just about finished adjusting every little thing. So when we return, we'll show you his vision of USA up all night and return to hard bodies. Sound like a deal? Great. See you in a few. Guest Director Spielberg, take one. Thanks for letting me borrow some sugar, Rhonda. You're such a good neighbor. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
Sunny out oh, there. Yeah, it's bright. It's bright. Wow. Uh, Yay. Can you sign this for me? <clears throat> um, do you have a pen? Yeah. No. Oh, that's okay. I have one in my van. Oh, I'll get it, Rhonda. Thanks. were moving around by themselves. This place wasn't by any chance built on an ancient Indian burial ground, was it? No, I'm afraid that's uh, my fault, ma'am. The steel plate in my head sometimes has that effect on small wind-up toys. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, here's your package. Thanks. Okay. Oops. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to see what's on the inside really? of this, Deanna. Yeah. Oh, no, check this out, the address. It's sunk to someone else. Oh, you're right. That's supposed to go, go to somebody who lives clear across town. I hope we can catch the UPS guy. Oops, too late. He's gone. I'll have to deliver this by myself. But how? You don't have a car. to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, Guest Director Tarantino, take one. We happy, Deanna? We happy? We happy. <laughs> cool. So tell me again about the pod bars. What do you want to know? Slammers, are they legal there? It breaks down like this. It's legal to buy pogs, it's legal to play. But check this. If the cops in Amsterdam think you've been gambling with your pogs, it is illegal for them to search your pockets. I mean, that is a right they absolutely don't have. Oh, man, I'm gone. I mean, that's all there is to it. Well, you dig it the most. Uh, so, how are we supposed to get this delivery to Jess? Oh, it's cool in the game, man. I got it covered. Bingo, come in. Yeah, hi, I'm here to pick up a special delivery. Yeah, got it right here. Be careful with this. Oh, man. Oh. Accidentally shot the UPS guy in the face. Now how are we supposed to get the stuff to Jackson? Chill out. I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. I've got a friend coming over soon who can make the delivery. Now right now we just gotta clean this mess up. Man, I wish I had one of those maids, you know, like Alice and the Brady Bunch. That woman worked her tail off. Oh damn, you ain't kidding. And I know Mike Brady must have been slipping her something more than minimum wage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Plus, Greg was going through puberty and running around the house in that little Johnny Bravo outfit. <laughs> you can't tell me she didn't get a piece of that. <laughs> hey, Rhonda. Got here as soon as I could. So you got a little mess on your hands, huh? All right, we're gonna need some 409, some handy wipes, some sponges, maybe a big bucket. How you doing? <laughs> this is my friend, Deanna. Hi. How you doing? Uh, would you stop accidentally shooting people in the face? Cut. Thank you, girl. Sorry, Mr. Tarantino, but this really isn't the kind of show we do here. Now, if we could uh, strike the set and... Ah! Oh. Uh. 
You know, you just might want to put that thing away. Maybe. your B-movie beauty, and it's time to play USA Up All Night's version of What's My Line? It's the game where judgmental people like us try to guess a person's occupation just by looking at them. Today, we'll look at Michelle from Hard Bodies. Now, give a good look and tell me, is she A, the vice president of a major savings and loan national bank, B, a software analyst for a large business computer company, C, a freelance rocket scientist currently servicing accounts with Lockheed and NASA, or D, an aerobic teacher. Well, let's roll tape. I teach aerobics. If you guess D, give yourself 10 points and join us again next week. Until then, this is Rhonda telling you to keep judging books by their covers. Bye bye now. After these commercials, we'll return to Hard Bodies, a movie that makes Baywatch look deep. Oh, and we'll let this Scorsese guy have a go at directing. Director Scorsese, take one. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Uh huh. No. that dress in blue after all.
of you may have recognized the red-headed kid from our movie, Hard Bodies. He's now a popular stand-up comedian called Carrot Top. For those of you who didn't know him, just think of him as Beavis before there was a Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I think we can think of something cool. <laughs> <laughs> he sure was ahead of his time. And what better way to waste time than watching this movie as USA Up All Night continues. Here's the conclusion of Hard Bodies on USA Up All Night. Our second movie tonight is called Tomboy. Oh, remember the aerobics teacher from the movie we just watched? Well, her name is Christy Summers, and she's in this movie as well. Once again, she delivers a fine performance. It makes you wonder why she doesn't read the scripts before she agrees to be in these movies. May I suggest a trip to Lens Crafters before the next visit to your agent's office? Oh well, you focus in on our next movie. It's Tomboy on USA Up All Night. There will be more Tomboy after these messages on USA Up All Night. USA Up All Night and your bedtime bonbon will return to Tommy the Teasing Tomboy after these words from our fabulous sponsors. Let's return to the movie that made Siskel and Ebert consider having their thumbs amputated. It's Tomboy on USA Up All Night.
When most of you saw Tomboy in the TV Guide, you probably expected to see something like Tatum O'Neill in the Bad News Bears, a scrawny 12-year-old with short hair and patches on her knees. Well, guess again. On, Here's more of Tomboy on, on USA Up All Night. A lot. For the moment you've all been waiting for, the conclusion of Tomboy on USA Up All Night.
Well, that's all for tonight's show. But for you night owls, we've got another great movie called Arthur. I want to thank all the directors who came by to audition. Don't call us. We'll call you. Okay, boy? <laughs> be sure to join me next week when we'll be screening Miracle Beach and Beach Beverly Hills and doing something completely different all over again. So until then, remember from the keeper of the sizzle kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda, up all night. Nighty-night. <laughs>